Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Y once again. So in today's video, we are going to see part two of our ongoing series model builder node. Yes, in previous version, we have checked how we can use model builder for aligning and checking our tracking purposes. But in today's video, we are going to see how we can do UV unwrapping to do any texturing work inside Nuke. So without any delay, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here, I have my box over here and it's all tracked with my footage, right? So if I want to do my unwrapping, so what I can do, I can just right click over here. And as you know, we have multiple modes like align, edit and UV. So I'm going to UV and once you're going to UV and here you will have your UV editor, like you can drag or you can control drag or left click to pan around it or control alt and left click and drag to zoom in zoom out right so here i'm going to select my edges so if i'm going to select my edges my these three edges won't select because these edges are behind the front objects right so i'm going to exit from my main camera and i'm going to orbit around it and i'm going to zoom a little like this and i'm going to select my this with the help of shift right so let me do that. Okay, so my all edges are selected and I'm going over here. And for this example, I'm what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and mark as seam. Yes, I want each and every face should be individual element, right? Just for this example, right? But this is not the way to unwrap. So I'm going to mark as seam. And once it, it is marked as seam, it turns to purple, right? And right click. And again, I'm going over here to unwrap. Once I'm going to unwrap, your all faces will come in UV area. And if I'm going to right click and face selection, you can easily see this is my this face, this is my this face, this is my this face and so on and so forth, right? So what else we need? We need a UV snapshot to apply texture on it, right? So I'm going to hit space bar over here to maximize this view. And again, I'm going over here and I'm going to click and drag my UV space. Also, what else I can do, I can select, probably I'll go to edge selection and I'll select edge and probably I'll hold down control and left click to do something like that, right? And over here, we have an option to take snapshot. So I'm going to capture this viewer and this capture data will come, right? So we need one frame only and you need to select or customize right path by default it won't be selected but you have to select it and you have to go where you want to save your uv so i'm going over here and i'm going to do uv2.jpg it will only support jpg format i'm going to hit open i'm going to hit ok so automatically your snapshot will come right so what next I'm going to do, I'm going to call my UV inside Nuke, right? So I'm going over here and I'm going to call my UV. So you can easily see I'm having my snapshot. So first thing first you need to do, you need to take a node called crop, right? So I'm going to connect it in crop. Also, you can take this UV to Photoshop and you can do whatever you want, but I am showing it inside Nuke only, right? Okay, so in crop, I'm going to crop as per my requirement, like I'm going to crop this much, this much, or probably you can keep this close as possible like this. And here is the trick. In crop, you have to do reformat, right? So I'm going to put one over here. After reformatting, what I'm going to do, it, it will come like for 548 to 582, but I'm going to take a node called reformat. And in reformat, probably I'll choose a square format like square format like 512. It, it will create more convenience to do any kind of texturing work. And here I'm going to use height, probably height or width, both will work for me, right? But I guess height will work fine for me. After that, you need any texture which you want to apply on this face. Because if you remember, if I'm going over here and I'm going to, if I'm going to select this and if I'm going to select face and this face, is over here, right? So I want to do something on this space. So I'm going to exit from here and probably I'll come out from UV mode, right? So here I have one of my logo, which I want to apply, right? So what I'm going to do, 
if I'm going to use a merge node and probably if I'm going to do this, so automatically you can adjust it since it's it's too big for me. So I'm going to take a transform node and probably I'll scale it down like this and probably I'm going to place it over here like this as per your convenience. Initially, I'm going to put it over here and if needed, I can scale it any any time. Also, if I'm going to take it as a, a texture, it won't work because over here, this size will be one five something. So I don't want that format. It, it should be like 512 by 512, right? Because we are using our UV in that kind of format, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a constant node and in constant, I'm going to apply same reformatting. So I'll get my 512, 512. And again, I'm going to use merge node and this will be B, my this will be A, right? Something like this. So automatically my texture will be on that same place, right? Also, I'm going to copy my model builder node. I'm, I'm going to apply directly texture on my model builder node. If needed, you can export it or bake it as a mesh and you can do it as well, right? Okay, so to apply this texture to this model, I have another node called apply material and this will be my material and this will be my model. So if I'm going to see through my apply material, nothing is visible, right? But here you can easily see I'm having my logo on this face only. Isn't it great? So we have unwrapped our model and now we have applied our texture as well. Now I'm going to connect my this setup in scene node. And once I'm going to see through it, you can easily see I'm having my texture over here, right? So let me delete this. I don't need it. And if you can see, I'm having my logo over here, but my logo is overlapping this surface as well. So how I can fix it? Obviously, I'm going over here and probably I'll take this merge and this merge and probably I'll use this transform and let me scale it little and let me push it through left, something like this. So probably my see, can you see that if you need it, you can put it little uh, lower like this, like if I'm going over here and probably I can put it like this. If you feel that this is too big, I can scale it down more further, right? If needed, I can put it left side like this, like this, right? And if I'm going to play, you can easily see it's moving with my camera because it's tracked, right? But one thing I would like to match over here, like this logo is not matching with the scene. So what I can do, I can just go over here and take a grade node and I'm going to disable it, right? So also we can easily see we have reference of white over here. So I'm going in white point and I'm going to pick my this white and from for reference, I'm going over here and I'm going in gain and probably I'm going to pick this white, right? And if I'm going to see through from this merge and if I'm going to enable it, you can automatically see my white point is merged with my reference. And if I'm going to play it, it's perfectly matching fine on that particular surface. So I hope you understand the process of UV unwrapping inside Nuke and you hope that this video will help you. Don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.